Okay. It's Saturday. I want to feel out the vibes. And I got music going. So if it gets taken down, it gets taken down. Whoever gets to see it, gets to see it. That's the way it's going to be. Because I got some old school on. And I don't want to shut it down. Okay? I don't want to lose my vibe. So, let's see. Current energy for Saturday. For Saturday, August 3rd. Whoa. Those flew out. So, we got the Hierophant and we have Strength. Brand new flavor in your ear. I think you can have flavor in your ear. Okay. There's some type of restraint. There's... Oh, you might lose your shiznit. I don't... I think someone wants forgiveness, whether they're talking to you or spirit. But I think you're going to lose your shit. <clears throat> it's like biting your tongue. Having the strength because you're frustrated. And then we got the devil. Damn, three major arcana. But this has to do with a lover. <clears throat> so, great. Awesome sauce. Great, great, great. <laughs> this wasn't weekend energy, but I was like, let's see if I can get something else. But apparently, I might not be able to. And, um, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. New flavor in your ear. But here comes a brand new flavor in your ear. I don't know. Could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, Cappy. Holy shit. And the High Priestess. You legitimately have four major arcana. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, man. I don't know if this is... I don't think it's a secret lover, but I don't think you're going to tell somebody you're talking to this person. Because it's, it's such chaos. Like, look at your restraint. Like, look at you hold them back. Alright, hold on. Let me, let me do something real quick. Alright, so... We're at 30. Which is a 3. But it's like the songs, like, it's time for new flavor in your ear. So it, it's almost like saying, just get out of this. Use your intuition, not temptation. I mean, it looks like you're arguing anyway. To me, somebody absolutely wants an apology, or they're praying to Spirit, Jesus, Mother Mary, whoever they're praying to, Buddha, it's whomever, right? And it's like, what the actual F? But there's, to me, straight up sexual temptation. I'd say be real careful, because it's either a secret, or you need to use your intuition. So let's clarify. Tell me about um. Oh, I gotta I gotta switch Wu Tang Clan. I gotta switch Wu Tang Clan. All right, I'll give you a little biggie. <clears throat> so the Empress came out with the Hierophant. So either she's going to seek forgiveness or somebody's coming straight up to the Empress to, to seek forgiveness. And I'm on, this is now five major arcana troops. And it's another three. Okay. So this is tricky. It's definitely linked to your past because she's looking this way. Right? So what's she talking about, Willis? <clears throat> um, this is not edited, so i got to switch that. All right, tricky's on. <clears throat> this is tricky. Turn it down a smash. Oh, man. If something's coming towards the Empress or the Empress is going towards someone, there's no question. She needs to forgive or vice versa. She's either in a relationship she could be married being the empress, already in a commitment. Something's pissing her off or him off. 
clear as day. Tell me about the strength card. This is insane with the major arcana. It's almost like a, it's like a universal setup. Are you joking me? The magician. Now this is insane. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm in disbelief. Oh man. Well, it's all about creating, right? It came out upright, so it's like have this. I don't know if this is good or bad. You better use your intuition. I don't know if it's something you created, but it's it's saying it looks like the feminine needs to have strength here. Somebody's seeking forgiveness, or you're seeking forgiveness, and it's hands down a lover. Tell me about the devil. This is insane. Like what? It, it's 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 the divine plays a part because it's it's all major arcana. It's It'd be out of your hands. Right? And if you think about it, right? It goes down. It would go down like this. And she's looking over here. Holy, are you joking me? It is the lovers. It's a divine setup. It's a divine matchmake. What the effel sticks is happening right here? What? What? Bottom of the deck is a two of chalices. Tell me about the high priestess. Is this a joke? Like, I know, I know it's not a joke. I've never pulled, ever. Holy shit, the wheel. I have never ever pulled. Holy shit. Oh my god. I've never pulled anything like this. I don't even. Honest to God, like I've never pulled anything like this and I will tell you every time I look at the bottom this king of pence keeps showing his face I need to <sighs> what she might already be in a relationship and you guys are arguing right but it's gonna get good if that's the case something's gonna go in your direction like the wheels here is it's out of your hands it's out of your hands an old lover a, a new lover a past lover but like to me with the devil like that's that's temptation but you're gonna be furious someone straight up wants forgiveness you need to use your intuition here and it's the woman like whoa <laughs> like whoa is right black rob holy crap because it, it's like i don't know if they're fuming because it's like woman 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 he's here too but like the King of Pence keeps coming into the picture, and if you think about it, he keeps ending up at the bottom of the deck, so he would be going in this direction, right, towards the woman. So, it's like something's going to go in his direction, your direction, Six of Chalices is right here. It's like a decision's going to need to be made. I don't even need to clarify. Like, this is in the universe's hands. There's nothing you can do about this except for use your intuition. All right, so we have... <sighs> Let me pause this. Let me get out the calculator because my mind is boggled right now. Um, there's in it's three twenty. It's another. It's another five. It's three twenty. Isn't that like a smoke time or is that three forty? No, that's four twenty. Anyway, it's a five. So I mean, this is major change. Wow, just look at that, troops. I, I don't, it's like, <laughs> never, ever has this happened to me. And with the music that's on, I don't even know how long this video is going to last. Whoever's meant to see it, we'll, we'll see it, right? And and that was kind of my intention behind it, because I didn't want to switch off the music. I needed it. I needed the vibe. So someone seeking forgiveness, forgiveness is no question here. But you're human or, or they're human. Absolutely. But boy, is there a temptation. Right? And it's like the high priestess or this Pisces energy. Something's going to go in divine order. It's a divine setup. It's, it's a match. You, you can create. Or, or here's a deal. Like, here's the thing. It looks like the feminine already created something. It's like you created it. And now something's going to come back around. What are you going to do? It's divine intervention. 
And I don't even think if someone's like twin, I, I swear to you, I don't. It's one of those situations where it's like with a soulmate, it's, it's either a new one or it's a blast from the past. Right? It's like, whoa. Like, whoa. Someone's name could be Rob. But I don't even know what to, I, I, you know, <sighs> gin and juice is on. You could be dealing with a drink or two. But regardless, or you like to drink or you're going to go out drinking. I don't, I don't freaking know, right? But holy cannolis. I, I don't even know what they want you to do with this. Let me pull one card for best advice, please. What would you like them to do with this? Because I wouldn't even know what to do with this. I'd be like, what? What the actual, what? Seven of Swords is what they want you to do with this. Oh, damn. It's, it's almost like hear them out too, but like, I don't think they're saying Savitat. Oh, what the friggle sticks. There might be a third party, but they didn't bring no third party into this picture. Unless somebody's legitimately already married or in a commitment and somebody's like, whoa, like I'm going to hit this person up. Right, probably been thinking about each other. Good chance you, you, you know, you're either arguing with them or you've been arguing with them. Like seven of swords. This is coming back around. And it's going right to the queen of pence. What do you mean, best advice? Like, what? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. This, this is like, what? Yeah, right, guys? Like, what? You're like, damn right, court. Like, what? Like, what? It's almost like you learned a lesson because you go into the Seven. You can either sabotage it or talk through it. But it's, you, can't, you can't avoid it. And another Seven, Seven of Cups... Oh, damn. I think they're putting you on your purpose, on your path. Uh, you're going to be confused. You might even feel betrayed, sabotaged. It, it's like you have options. But the, uni the universe would never put you in a situation where they, they would say, yeah, shut it down. But, like, they wouldn't say, hey, sabotage a, situ a situation. Like... This would be someone's energy all carefree, happy, go lucky, growth. I don't know if this is somebody else's energy now. Like, it's like mind boggling to me. It's the same energy though. I can feel it. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. So it's like, hold on. It's a divine match, match make. Like, They don't want you to sabotage it. It's almost like, hear the person out. You may need to figure out options. You might be confused. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. It's, it's a universal setup, though. They're getting you on your path. There's, there's, no, there's no question. And then you pull justice, right? So it's, it's time for something to be balanced. It's time for you to balance out the scales. But it's like, what do you tackle first? Do you jump right into the deception? Do you jump right into the lies? Do you jump right into the bullshit? Clear the confusion? Because it's best advice. So you might as well get straight to the point and stop beating around the effing bush. Don't let temptation overtake right like because this person's furious too so it's like get to the bottom of it it's like going straight for the juggler though like tell me about the seven of swords real quick seven of swords <clears throat> two of cups the emperor reverse at the bottom of the deck someone's bullshit so I mean, there's something Arguments of energy. Someone wanting to talk about something. It has to do with the soulmate, clear as day. It's it's a universal matchmake. Like So it's like don't don't sabotage I guess get straight to the bullshit. 
don't pussyfoot around it. Just get straight to the bullshit. I guess don't avoid it, right? Because if you were to avoid it, it would cause confusion. And it's almost like an opportunity to balance out the scales. You got nine major arcana on top of two. And to be honest with you, 7, 14, 20, 21, 20, 24, 22, 6, yes. It's a hominous number. Oh, I wish you the best of luck. I don't know. That That's it. Like, you got nine major arcana, too. crazy to me straight up crazy okay so I wish you luck for today's vibe is you might be angry that somebody even wants to apologize to you or you might be angry because you want to apology like I don't know how this is going to go down It's almost like to give someone have strength, but if you need that type of strength and resistance, like, whoa. Like, whoa. It's like, but I'm telling you right now, if it's the gentleman coming to the woman, they're frustrated. Well, it seems like it, but like, It looks like the gentleman's coming to the woman. And it's almost like they're trying to con control their, their pride, their ego. Their... I don't know if temptation is leading. I don't even think they're coming at you for forgiveness, though. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks that way, but I don't see forgiveness. It could be just straight up hookup. But he, here's the thing, like... I wouldn't think the divine would be okay with it. I think they're saying, use your damn intuition here, like... You might need strength to resist this person. Because it's that's like the devil energy. And it's like, you got all the tools to deal with this. It, and then it's like, I don't know if this comes after. Because it's like a, a couple different stuff that I'm feeling. It's almost like they want you to pass it up. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like there's something else out there. Like I almost feel like it's tricky energy. It's like make pretend like I want to come in. It's like a pretend Apology. This is all, a, and, and it has to, it's, but here's the thing. It's like, it, it has to happen. So for some of you, I'm telling you, this is a test. The Hierophant gives tests. And you need to use your intuition. The woman needs to use their intuition here. Yeah. I'm going to clarify the Hierophant because this is who's coming at you. It, it's tough because, tell me about the Hierophant. It's tricky because I just looked at my phone. It's 1144 and that speaks of love, right? So like, it just depends on who you are. 
It's the four of pence. It's like they've been holding on to something. See what I'm saying? There's that frustration. The gentleman's been holding on to something. But it's like... Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like they walked away from you anyway, but now they want to walk to their happiness. I don't know if it's because they see you in a solid foundation. Like, they're holding on to something. And to me, it's got to be some type of anger. There's no question. Well, this is you having strength because it's like if this person hits you up, you're going to be like, you might be pissed that this person even dares hit you up. What? Tell me about... Best advice for the Empress. Hold up, buttercup. What? Is that going to dance? Um, no, not today. Why not? I'm doing a video. Hold on. Best advice for the Empress is the Queen of Swords. So it's like you, yes. it's like you're not even feeling. You won't even feel like defeated. Like it's it's like your best advice is to straight up be a bitch, like ice cold. Save the turtles. Use metal straws. Are you showing people stuff? I right, I'm I'm glad you you want them to save the turtles. It's like save yourself some sanity and come out of the confusion. This I'm telling you right now, it's just gonna go in either either direction. But the thing that blows my mind is that the eleven forty four. Why can't anything be simple with me? You know, I just wanted to come on real quick, but then that. The universe had to throw you all sorts of major arcana. When it comes to love, the angel 144 means that your angels are helping you manifest your heart's desire and working together to live happily ever after, which is no such thing, right? But anywho, it talks about the energy of new beginnings in life. If you are single, it can mean a new, a new romance. But I don't see, I don't see new. But I mean, it, it could be, right? Like, somebody could have just got out of a relationship, but they're holding on to something. But like, you need the strength because you're tempted but it's like do I do I go there like do I do that right like it's a contradicting energy because when I looked down it was 1144 so it's almost like looking for new ways to get something done efficiently using your intuition we knew that there's some next steps coming keep your thoughts positive optimistic Expect miracles. Like, this is a good 1144, but I'm telling you right now, some of you, it's no good. It's a test. If anyone comes at you this weekend, it's a test. And others of you, it can be sensational. But it looks like this Hierophant, the person that wants to forgive or vice versa, however, it's been holding on to something, which makes sense. Because I can see it. But it's like, your best advice is to just, like, the Empress was to just knock it out out of the ballpark like done but and then I think once you actually do that something manifests but the way this the well maybe you know this person might eventually come back but right now is not the time and you certainly don't take care of any bullshit and that's not you manipulating that si the situation it's, it's you saying I'm not dealing with no bullshit because you're at the stage where you're not dealing with no bullshit Tell me about the Queen of Swords reversed real quick, please. Queen of Swords reversed. I just want one more little intake on this. To me, you're going to be tempted. And you got the Death card. It's like you're going through a transformation. And it's like she's looking right at her, too. Like, it's almost like, <laughs> you better be real careful right here. And, and it's like another major arcana. That's a transformation. I also feel like spirit saying, let it be over. It's like they're looking at you like, let it be done with. Like, look at her face. These are very dark cards. It is, I think that's what they're saying. It's like no need to get yourself all confused. No need to, you know what I mean? Like, tell me about this lovers now. I don't know. The universe is definitely telling some of you guys go in another direction. You know, it's like the knight of pens with the lovers. So it's like, you're going to get a message. Tell me about the wheel real quick. The wheel. Three of chalices. It's, 
it's like happy at times. It could be dating. It, it could talk about reconciliations. I, I don't see it like that. Like, because underneath the deck is the Queen of Swords reversed, right? So it's almost like remaining ice cold. So that's the Page of Swords, Princess of Swords. This is like, tell me about this Knight of Cups. I mean, this Knight of Pents. You looking up something? Yeah, how do I get to your Amazon? Check it's a Ten shoes. of Swords. So it's almost like, guys, look the shoes. You're talking about sneakers? Yeah. I, I wish you the best of luck. It's Because it's, some of you it's okay and others of you it's absolutely not. But I would say I found it. for a majority of it, um... Kate and John, oh, careful. A majority of you is, it would be a no go, and it's like the universe is like, but it's like you have to go through it. It's a test. So I would be on top of your intuition. Do not let temptation take over. You don't necessarily need to shut it down. Obviously, karma needs to be balanced, right? I say still have a conversation, but get straight to the bullshit. See what I'm saying? It's not that you got to ignore the person per se. You got to be smart. But it is karmic, right? It, it is. It, it is what it is. I would still definitely have a conversation. Whether via phone and face, you might be better off via phone, right? But... Because it's something, it needs to be cleared. It needs to be balanced. For some, if it goes the right way, it could be a good thing. So be smart. I love you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. <laughs> Bye.